everyone I hope you are doing great so I'm back again with another Ryanair cabin crew video and today I'm gonna to be showing you my real life payslips okay so let's just jump straight in so this is my very first payslip that I got I had done a couple of lights at this point I'm just gonna go exactly by the payslips I might block out some of this information just so it's not exactly too personal I just want to kind of give you a rough idea of the breakdown I think that's the whole purpose of this not to expose everything just to kind of give you a breakdown so you really understand the net pay that I see here is exactly what ended up in my bank account so this is the first payslip bonus pay that is 750 that's new joiners bonus that's why it says njl over here 750 euros under that it also has basic pay so basic pay is nothing to do with my flight hours and as i already mentioned to you they make you work 12 flights for free or 12 sectors or three supernumerary days with four sectors on each day however i think you do get a basic pay for that period hence why i received this a small amount of 125 euros and 76 cents and therefore my net pay was 272 euros and 63 cents and that's all I received out of the 875 euros and 76 cents that I had earned through the bonus and the basic pay so that was my first month or my first few days but it didn't come straight away it came after like two weeks next this was my first full pay so as you can see the top line is flight pay 182 euros and two cents for that a 50 euro deduction a slash l pay is annual leave they actually put some annual leave days on my roster they did that for everybody because they kind of want you to take some days at the start then of course with the annual leave 67 70 bank holiday 26 70 even if you fly on bank holiday they still have to pay for that sick pay 52 96 i think there's a limit on how many sick days you get paid for I just ended up getting sick I had sinus problems and it's very dangerous for you to fly you shouldn't be flying with a cold it's just not safe then bank holiday the basic pay for that month was 1006 euros and 43 cents Germany added 110 euros and 84 cents I think that's some kind of government addition at the bottom it shows you everything national pay pension maybe you can go to your old pension from your old job activate that again and start paying into that if you want that's uh, something that you need to organize for yourself then of course there's a taxable pay total and it shows you the standard total and some other details like tax credit salary that month 1520 euros and 52 cents that was probably one of the highest payments I received after that the payments kind of went down a bit next get straight on to the payments flight pay was 326.66 that month sales bonus was 30.79 maybe I sold a perfume maybe I sold well you sold you sell a lot of things on board and you get paid a small percentage that was my sales bonus as you can see it's not much but it's something also when you first start working as well as not being paid for your flight hours you aren't being paid for the sales that you make you aren't getting getting a bonus for that after the sales bonus I did an airport standby as I said you get paid 30 euros for airport standby and I think if they happen to need you during that standby you will only get a portion of that 30 euros you won't get the whole 30 euros they'll just work out the percentage and pay you for that time until you're called to fly and then of course you get paid for the flight hours and then my my basic pay that month was a bit higher it was 1308 euros I was paid 1335 euros and 98 cents that month should I go for another month let me see I'm just gonna show you I don't mind okay so the next month my pay went down again flight pay was 310 euros and 44 cents sales bonus 33 euros 43 cents so it's up from the last month previous month annual leave pay 50 euros and 98 cents and then my basic pay is 1247 cents 95 my basic pay is down from the previous month and then of course to the right they have tax and then the adjustments and the final salary is 1263 euros and 68 cents and then this pay slip for flight pay I have 280 euros and 15 cents sales bonus I have 27 euros and 19 cents annual leave pay I have 72 euros 21 cents bank 
holiday I have 23 euros and one cent basic pay I have 1391 euros and 66 cents and German sick pay I have 40 euros and 98 cents I'm not sure exactly what the difference is between sick pay and German sick pay but this is what I have so yeah my net pay in the end was 1353 euros and 17 cents So I really hope that gives you a realistic, you know, well not realistic, a real idea. <laughs> that should give you a real idea of exactly what a flight attendant gets paid. This is the real truth of it. If you feel like you can live on this money, which I think is possible, then go for it. It's not the same in every country. The salary in Berlin was significantly, well not significantly, was higher than the salary and the base pay in other countries like the UK, Belgium, and it was just more than many countries. It was just more in Berlin. When I compared all our contracts on the Wings Day, I remember that the Berlin was the highest paying contract. And also, if I'm to give you a rough idea of what things costed in Berlin, especially the one of the main expenses of rent, I was paying 400 euros, but that's because I was renting that empty apartment from my friend because of it was the end of her lease, but that is basically how much a room costs in Berlin. You can pay anything between 350 to 550 or even 600 for a room, but if you're paying 600, you might as well try to find your own apartment. You should definitely try and find your own apartment. But yeah, it's kind of cool to know that you can get an apartment for 600 in Berlin. But I would say for a room, definitely 350 to 500 is, uh, makes sense to me. 350 to 500 or even 300 to 500 makes sense. So that's how much a Ryanair flight attendant gets paid. That's what the pay slip looks like. That's what the breakdown looks like. And you've seen exactly the taxable income and the tax deductions. So you do the math. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do give me a thumbs up to show that you've enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed as well as turn your notifications on so you know exactly when I've uploaded a video. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!